And we are ready to roll. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pastor Darby as he prepares our uh, almost to be newlyweds, Marie Antoinette Gregory and James Lewis Saunders for their wedding vows. Welcome to everybody. Amen. God bless. God bless. God bless you, Sister Marie, Brother James. Amen. This is a awesome occasion. Amen. Are we situated in our uh, our spots that we're going to be in? Amen. Are we going to walk closer to the camera? Amen. I want to be able to see you guys. <laughs> amen. 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 Well, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Marriage is an, or, is an honorable estate instituted of God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ and declared by St. Paul to be honorable among men. It is not there too to be entered into without holy advice or lightly, but reverently, soberly, advisably, and in the fear of God. Let us therefore, under seriousness, of this act invoke divine presence unto this occasion. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, the King eternal, from whom proceeded all power and dominion, both in heaven and on earth, we humbly beseech thee to look with favor upon thy servants, this man and this woman. Be thou honored guests at this wedding to turn the water into wine of joy. Grant unto them the assurance that they have been brought together by the providence so that they may be truly and eternally joined together by the Holy Ghost. We pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 I now charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that true love and faithfulness observance of your marriage vows are required as the foundation of a successful marriage and the establishment of a happy and enduring home. Without these, there can be no real marriage and the home which you will be endeavored to establish will be a in vain effort. Keep the solemn vows you are about to make. Live with tender consideration for each other. Conduct your lives in an honest and in truth. And your marriage will last. Your home will be a lasting. This commitment to marriage will be a blessing to you and will be a blessing to others. This should be remembered as you now desire to be united in holy wedlock. At this time, if you have personal vows, you may say them to each other, starting with Brother James and then Sister Marie in that order. First of all, what I want to say is I want to thank everyone it is taking the time out of the busy schedule to see my lovely bride and myself win. And I want to thank Pastor, Pastor Darby for taking his time and his very powerful, impersonal words from the scriptures and to shed some, some power on our coming together. Now, my bride. I look at my bride here standing before me and I understand the power and significance of what it means to be born again. 
He said, she recently got saved on top of everything else. She recently let me know that what she's about. And she's real. You know, we, though for those of us that are unaware, we surrounded us, we surrounded each other for literally decades. Decades, not decades, decades. She grew up in my neighborhood. I didn't know her. She went to my elementary school. I didn't know her. She was in my same elementary school class. I didn't know her. She was in my high school. I didn't know her. I didn't meet her until I got involved in a business endeavor where she joined me in business and said to me, she said, James, I need to drive down from women in North Carolina to see how you operate. Cause you, you just, you, you, you something else. I, did, I didn't want to disagree with her, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to disagree with her. So I said, yeah, come on down. She, she came on down. So she, I met her. I said, wow, she's really got something going on. We were not in, in romantically inclined then. We weren't romantically involved. I didn't look at her in that way. But I got to thinking about her. We would have conversation, lengthy conversations. I've never stayed on the phone for two hours and 30 minutes or three hours with a woman in my life. I would have been doing it effortlessly. I said, you know, you realize we've been on the phone for a while. We've been on the phone for a minute. But anyway, we went to a, a business uh, convention and I was getting ready to talk to her. I said, you know, if I, if I talk to her at the beginning of this, I'm going to mess her up. I'm going to wait till the end. So at the end, I approached her. I said, I said, Marie, I said, I need to ask you something. But she thought she was in trouble. I said, you're not in trouble. I just need to tell you something. What you need to tell me. So she braced. She braced herself. I said, I really like you. She said, okay, James. I like you too. I said, no, 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 no. You don't understand. <laughs> As a parent, you don't understand. I really like you. He said, oh. Went to dinner. She told me that she didn't want to be involved with nobody. He said she was satisfied being by herself. Or as they say in New York, by herself. All right? <laughs> she was, she was, she, but then she went to, to California. And she called me from California. She said, I said, what you call me for? She said, you know what? I've been thinking about us. I said, us? She said, I've been thinking, yeah, I've been thinking about it. I said, we need to give it a try. I said to her, I said, um, when are you coming back to Women's North Carolina? She said, Monday. I said, that's good. That's good. Because <laughs> Tuesday afternoon at 1 o'clock, I'm like, I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together ever since. Yeah. And, and what I, what I want to say to her at this time is that I promise to love, honor, and cherish her in sickness and in health, in death to us part. And I understand the power of communication. I understand the power of looking in her eyes and telling her how I feel. I'm a straight, no chaser kind of guy. You know? <laughs> she knows that. Yeah. She respects that. And she likes that because I'm going to be very honest with you. If I feel a certain way, and I certainly feel somewhere about her. Um, I love her dearly. And I will always remember this moment as one of the happiest moments of my life. With okay. that, being in my, that being said, baby, I love you. Thank you so much for being my wife. And I look forward to many, many happy years with you. Amen. James, I adore you. I knew I was in like just by our conversations. And by the time I got to California, they said I was glowing, but I'm of a particular age that it's like I was asked by my girlfriend, my sister girlfriend. We're the same age. Are you pregnant? <laughs> I said, no, I'm in like, and I talked in the spare room all while I was there. I knew I was getting on her nerves and, but it's like something about you just captured me and crawled into my spirit. We resonated with each other. 
and you've been on my mind a lot. And I haven't liked anybody like the way I liked you for a long time. <laughs> and I'm so blessed that we crossed paths and I'm totally convinced that my mother is on the other side and she got us together. And it's been a blessing knowing you. You fuel me. And I just adore you. And I had a problem with some issues early on, but there's nothing wrong with them. I looked at you like, oh, you must be a slick one. But <laughs> I raised an eyebrow <clears throat> at your past, and you were just being honest and real with me. And I appreciated you for that. He practically exposed himself, bared his soul to me. And that had to have been difficult for you. And I trusted you. And you've shown up and showed up in each and every way in my life. I get fabulous counsel from you. You being my companion. And I'm willing to take it a step further. And it would be my honor to be Mrs. James Saunders. Amen. 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 Some of your vows are uh, 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 kind of mixed in with my ceremony, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> God is good. And that just means, you know, we all in one accord. Amen. Amen. Okay. James Lewis Saunders. After I finish, I would like for you to say, I will. Do you take this woman to be your wedded wife? and to earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and that forsaken all others to her alone, you will perform unto her all the respect that a husband vows to his wife until God by death shall separate us. I will. Amen. Marie Antoinette Gregory, do you take this man to be your wedded husband and to do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love him, comfort him, honor him, and obey him in sickness and in health, and that forsaken all others for him will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes to her husband until God by death shall separate you. I do. We'll give it this woman away. Okay, I do. Amen. Therefore, since it is in agreement of James Lewis Saunders and Marie Antoinette Gregory to be husband and wife, please join right hands and repeat after me before God as these witnesses the marriage vows. <laughs> Hold the hands, look each other in the eyes. Brother James, I, James Lewis Saunders, take thee, Marie Antoinette Gregory, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and health, and to love and to cherish till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, and therefore I pledge thee my faith. I do. I, Marie Antoinette Gregory, 
take thee, James Lewis Saunders, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to death do us part according to God's holy ordinance, and therefore I pledge thee my faith. I do. Amen. Hold up your rings, please. I would like for mm -hmm. Brother James to hold uh, Sister Gregory's ring and vice versa. Sister Marie, hold Brother James' ring. Hold it up there. Take a seat. Amen. The wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace signifying to all those un <clears throat> of this man and that woman in holy mat matrimony through the church of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings that they who wear them may abide in peace and continue it try favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. In token and pledge of our consistent faith and abiding love with the, with the ring I thee wed in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I'm gonna put the ring on Brother Brother James, gonna put hit Sister Marie's ring on her finger. Left finger, left hand, middle finger. Uh, the ring finger. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, sister. In, in token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love with this ring, I thee wed in the name of the Father and in the Son of the Holy Ghost. Sister, uh, sister Marie to put the ring on uh, Brother James' finger. Amen. For as much as James Lewis Saunders and Marie Antoinette Gregory have consented together in holy wedlock and uh, have witnessed the same before God and the company and there too have pledged their faith each to one another and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You may kiss the bride. Woohoo! Congratulations. Congratulations. Amen. I, I know. Yes. I yes. have to pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> I'm married to this man. Yes. She's married. Yes. Hi, Mary. Yay. Yay. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. and Mrs. James Lewis Saunders. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Beautiful. These guys look great. Guys look awesome. Awesome. And if you will allow me, I will go ahead and ask everybody to turn on your cameras, those of you that have not done so already. And we will also unmute everybody so that we can exchange greetings. And thank you so very, very much for your patience and for uh, being a part of this amazing 
amazing ceremony. So I'm, I've gone ahead and asked everybody to unmute if they wish to go ahead and share uh, their good wishes with the Saunders. And Pastor, thank you so very, very You're welcome. much. God bless. God bless. God bless. Hey guys. Can you start our videos back? Look at you. Look at that smile. Thank, thank you for coming. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> Unmute. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, James. And congratulations, Marie. And happy birthday. And happy birthday. Happy. Oh, that's right. Congratulations. congratulations to y'all. Y'all are such a beautiful couple. And this is Patricia Scott from Dallas, Texas. So God bless y'all, and I wish y'all the best. <laughs> Congratulations, Riri and James. This is Kimberly Gregory, her niece from North Carolina. Hi, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations. And the whole time I had grandma right next to us watching. <laughs> for, those, for those that were unable to get in for whatever particular reason, I don't know who didn't get in, but I do know that this is being recorded. And as a result of it being recorded, it will be transcribed to a YouTube video. Oh, okay. So if you want a copy of a YouTube video of our wedding, of our nuptials, just let Marie or myself know in Messenger on Facebook or in a text message, or give us a phone call, send us a carrier pigeon. I don't care what you do. <laughs> I will make sure you get a copy of the video that is being produced. Congratulations. Thank you. I would like to personally say congratulations to my best friend, Marie. I have never seen her so happy. And now I have my brother. <laughs> and we have been friends, sister friends for a long time. Carla, Lisa, Hi, Marie, hey. Wanda, and everyone sends their love and congratulations to you from the East Coast. Rhonda, Rhonda, your nieces, nephews, everyone loves this union. Look at that glow. Oh, Look at that glow. Is she happy or what? No, I'm not playing it. <laughs> oh. I don't want to get my, my best wow. man, my brother. My brother. You got to get him in here too. Okay. okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Alicia's husband for 20 plus years, 25 plus years, excuse me. Oh, We've been the beautiful. Uh, here. But anyway, I want to say congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Marie, you know you've always been part of our life for a long, long time. And now I have a brother to have be also to be a part of that. So we live in, in Southern California. And like I was telling James earlier, we're only three and a half hours away. So we'll be able to see each other. I mean, driving. driving. Yeah. Flying. And if you like flying, it's an hour away. So you know you're always welcome to our house. Thank you. Okay. Come here too. <laughs> no, 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 we can come. You coming. Y'all coming. But you know, you need to understand. I need everything with an F, two O's, and a D. <laughs> 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 yeah, we cook like that. Too. Yeah. <laughs> we cook like that. Well, we're happy that you're a part of the family now. Like I said, I thank you. I thank your mom for putting y'all together. I know Doris has something to do with this. All these years yes. that y'all have passed, passed uh, crushes up the path and circle and around full circle, 62 years. Yeah, 62 years. And here you guys are. It's amazing. This is beautiful. God is amazing. awesome. It's God amazing. Is awesome. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. I want to thank everybody for participating and watching us. You know, I mean, you took time to schedule to watch us. Thank you so much. Definitely appreciate it. <laughs> thank you all. You look beautiful, Riri. Very good. Thank you. She, she really got that. Oh, you. she's been forever. <laughs> I'm always been. <laughs> Since I was we high to a. I've been Riri for 62 years. And Riri, I made sure Grandma was sitting right with us to watch. Uh, uh, uh. You mean she's not in this room? I I know she, in here. Here. she could be there. Her. You know, you know, Grandma was everywhere. So <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> God bless you guys. 
and may heaven continue to smile upon you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get a picture. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody smile. Be smiling. We happy okay. for this one. And this one right there. And I'm happy. Uh, this is the best birthday present ever. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Your anniversary's on that. <laughs> it was done intentionally by this one. Let me get in this one. Let's see you sit. Here, here, bro. Don't want to go. Yes. Get the little low hands. I can't press the button. Can't see. Oh. 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 Because you can't see him. I can see me, but I can't. <laughs> You know, it's all about that. Forget that. It's about y'all. It's Marie's birthday. Yes. Happy birthday to me. Sure. I'm going to move it out. I'm going to move it out. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. What's your flower? Have a great day. Yeah. Pastor Darby, I think you had something that you were going to say uh, there for just a moment. So if we can ask everybody to. Uh, Please uh, hold for just a moment while Pastor uh, says a few words. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, congratulations, yeah. congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Saunders. That is reality. We have not continue to smile upon you. I thank you for allowing me to conduct <laughs> the service. I appreciate you guys. I look forward to seeing you every Sunday, amen, and every Friday on the prayer line. Amen. You guys are an awesome couple. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Congratulations. Um, it was an honor to watch this amazing ceremony between two lovely people. And once again, I'd like to say, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. and Mrs. James Lewis Saunders. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless, blessings to you and all the best. Amen.